Prepper Basics. Talking about knives and gloves today. This is Throttle Up Prepper. Prepper Basics, talking about knives and gloves. This is Throttle Up Prepper. I am your host. And uh, I don't know, got a lot of stuff we could talk about. But you know what? When you can't see so good, uh, you tend to get boo-boos aplenty. And I ain't talking about this guy. What you gonna do about it? Nope. I'm talking about the cuts. <laughs> And I got lots of them. So to try to help me and uh, maybe help you, I got my gloves on today. These are Condor hard knuckle gloves. Look out. Um, got them for a couple of reasons. Number one, I chop a lot of wood this time of year uh, for kindling for the wood stove. And I'm forever beating the stink out of my hands. Um, you know. Either the little hatchet slips or, you, you know, you finally make it through the piece of wood on that last sledgehammer blow and down goes your hand and scrapes along the bark. And I'm usually a bloody raw mess. So the lovely missus got me these for Christmas. And, of course, I got her a pair. And they're nice in the glove box. Great for self-defense, I guess, if you have time to put your gloves on. You can give somebody a walloping with that. So uh, other than that, I mean, I guess if you know you're going to be in a situation, don't know how you would know that, but if you did know, uh, you know, you, and you had time to put them on, uh, it could help except the fact that, uh, I'll be honest with you, I like these and for what I use them for, uh, they're great. They're kind of got that neoprene, uh, lycra, whatever it's called, spandexy kind of parts. Uh, so they're well ventilated, not real good for cold weather stuff. Got lots of padding in the palms. And uh, I guess if you had to stop a blade attack right there in the uh, bend of your thumb, you've got a little extra leather. Now, not to say they're not going to do a number on your hands, but for 35 bucks, not too shabby. I got a friend who's got a $160 pair of Oakleys that are Kevlar, and I guess if... Uh, you got that kind of change to drop on a pair of gloves, you go right ahead. But, uh, you know, made in Pakistan. I guess that's good. Anyway. Uh, so, uh, 5'11 tactical bag, show and tell. <clears throat> it's not about the bag. One of these days I'll get to doing my uh, review on this. Can you see the knife there, Josh? Mm -hmm. All right. So this is my knife. Now, if I'm going to be using this as everyday carry, uh, going to the mall, I'm not walking around with this hanging on the outside. I got it inside or, uh, you know, otherwise out of view. But just for hiking and everyday access, I got it with the molly webbing. I don't know if you can see that if I pull it back. I probably have it in there wrong, but it don't come off, so it's in there right as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I, I carry it upside down, uh, hopefully for obvious reasons. Uh, when it's on my backpack, I can reach across with my right hand and just undo the snap, which I'm now discovering with these gloves on. There's a little bit of a trick. And unsheath the knife. This is a lovely knife. I only own a couple knives, not too many. But this is my new one, my main one. This is the SOG. How's that? Can we see that? That's the SOG Seal Pup Elite. I'm being moved. Okay. <laughs> I guess you can see it now. The SOG Seal Pup Elite. Uh, I think it's about nine, nine and a quarter inches long. I probably should have looked at the specs before I uh, go to do the video. And might I say, it's a very light knife. Um, it, it's multi-purpose, obviously, uh, you know, for bushcraft and hiking to have it on you. If you need to cut rope, you need to cut, you know, limb, you need to... Um, what do they call that? Do the feather uh, thing with the sticks to make tinder. You know, if you have to light a fire, it's great. Unbelievably sharp. Um, 
you know, cutting edge right out of the box. It's got the clip point. So in a tactical situation, uh, I guess if you didn't have a firearm available, you didn't have time to get it or, you know, you don't believe in the Second Amendment. I don't get it, but there are those people out there. And you'd rather get up close and personal, and uh, heaven forbid you ever have to use something like this or something like that. Uh, That's a little, that just gives me the willies to think about it, but unbelievably sharp uh, point. And I like this. Can you see that serrated edge? The whole backside of the knife. Uh, If you had to saw through something, uh, you got that ability. It's made out of the glass reinforced nylon, but don't worry. Keep getting moved. Apparently, I am doing a horrible job at staying in the frame. <laughs> so if you see little hands grabbing me from off <laughs> off camera, <clears throat> that's what's going on. Glass reinforced nylon, very comfortable grip, uh, and it's full tang OS eight steel construction. So uh, try as you may, you're not going to break this knife. Very very light, um, and you know <laughs> one of my favorite points about this knife. No pun intended. Get it? Point? Nothing? All right. Anyway, (laughs) my favorite point about the knife is it is inexpensive as can be, but it's not cheap. Um, And by that, I mean, I think it was $49 on Amazon.com. There may be other places to get it uh, that may be uh, more or, or less. Uh, but that's where uh, I got most of my stuff this uh, Christmas shopping season. Uh, now that I'm taking my gloves off, you'll probably see a lot of blood and gore. Um, but one thing I did want to show you is on, ta-da, the sheath. It's, uh, you know, hard. I don't know if it's Kydex or whatever on the inside, nylon on the outside. But you got this great pocket. And in the pocket... Also from SOG, I got the little, uh, I think this was like 11 bucks, sharpening stone, little magnesium strip for starting fires, and then I got another, holy moly, I took it out. I had another uh, stone in there that I had from a long time ago uh, with the magnesium strip and fire starting that apparently I have relocated and uh, didn't send myself the memo. So, anyway... You got to have a knife. I I hear all kinds of things about all kinds of brands. I have uh, all kinds of friends with all kinds of knife. And uh, apparently all kinds of is my phrase of the day. (laughs) I don't know what you win. Um, But that just feels good, man. You got a little uh, spot for your thumb if you had to do some fine, fine carving. But, uh, you know, for 49 bucks, can't beat that with a stick. Now, I know... uh, for as many guys as there are out there and as many different knife companies and glove companies, y'all are going to have your own opinions. To which I say, get your own channel. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm just just kidding. Uh, this is a community forum here that we are trying to create. So use the comments below and uh, give me your thoughts. Uh, I've got friends, like I said, that have all kinds of knives. Uh, some have SOG and absolutely love them. I hear the rumors are that the uh, old version of this knife with the OS 6 steel uh, had some issues, uh, but this is OS 8, and they say uh, they are virtually indestructible. Now, I'm not poor, but I'm not a rich man, so I'm not going outside intentionally trying to destroy my knife, unless the boys at SOG would like to send me a comp um, uh, knife, and I'll be happy to destroy it for you, Uh, (laughs) or at least attempt to, but chances are I'll just end up destroying my own self, so unless we can get a, uh, another glove, hard knuckle uh, company to (laughs) cop me some more Kevlar uh, gloves, then uh, we may have to refrain from that, but seriously, uh, you know, use the comments below and let me know um, what your experiences are uh, with SOG uh, Pro Con. Uh, if you're a Mora knife guy or gal, uh, you could tell me about those. I have kind of eyeballing those as best a visually impaired fella can. Um, and I know they get pretty pricey. They, they, you can get a nice cheap knife for cheap money and it might do the job. I feel pretty comfortable with this for $49 that this isn't going anywhere. And having a couple of stones I keep <laughs> normally with me in my pack. Apparently I've got one out of the two. Um, 
you know, uh, I feel pretty confident should I have to bug out to the woods. Uh, hopefully not. Uh, I think I'd rather do my Custer's last stand here at the, here at the bunker. Uh, but whatever, I guess time will tell what may be necessary. Of course, you know, if you pay attention, uh, to some of these, uh, conspiratorial, um, YouTube channels, we got us, uh, an asteroid coming, going to end the world on the 16th. So hopefully this video gets a chance to go viral. So I have one. At least it goes viral before the end. Uh, actually, I'm not worried about that at all. Neither should you be. Make sure you check out my video here on this channel about fake news. Uh, if you like this video, you found it helpful, interesting, or just oddly like a bad train wreck. You just couldn't take your eyes off it, even though you desperately wanted to. Go ahead and hit like, share this with a friend, post it on your social media. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Please subscribe. Got very smart kids that need to go to college. Just saying. And if you guys are depending on me and <laughs> this video channel, woo, let's hope uh, you guys get some scholarships. Just kidding. Hey, seriously, subscribe and tell a friend. And uh, I think you might want to hang around. Uh, maybe not on this video, but I think starting pretty soon, we're going to start putting our bloopers at the end just for fun. Uh, come what may, get ready, get prepared, and God bless.